Get ready for a big surprise because Universe Ticket is revealing everything in Episode 9. From promotion to eliminations, the show has been one crazy ride and the finale is approaching. Episode 9 even reveals the first official member of the group. Aren't you curious? We have learned that in this exciting survival show of music and dance, not everyone can survive. Only 30 out of the original 82 contestants are still in the game opting for the ultimate prism ticket. It had us all guessing who's got that special combination of talent, charisma, and star power to grab the prism ticket rank. The countdown is on, and fans are playing detective trying to figure out the final lineup members. With 30 contestants left, Producers decided to mix up the ranks by forming up two units, and each of them were surprised with a new song they'll be working on. The first unit was Yummy Yum, and the other unit was Dream Girls. What made this mission so exciting was the fact that the possible eliminations were announced right after the groups performed. Eliminations were done through the voting system by unicorns, producers, and contestants. If you are wondering how will the eliminations occur within contestants, well, each unit performed in front of each other first and the viewer voted for the least attractive contestant. For Yummy Yum units, all the members voted for Yona's possible elimination. Yona showed to be frustrated at first and said that she would prove that the contestants made a wrong choice by working even harder for her dream girl performance. However, at the end of the performance, Yona got eliminated by the voting system. The dream girl unit delivered a memorable performance. Nana and Yona got the most amazing compliments by Sejong. She mentioned that the girls did a good job at delivering the concept of heartbreak with their facial expressions and angelic vocals. Next off, it was the Yummy Yum unit's performance that holds the concept of rising to the top, even if it takes stepping on others as explained by the vendors. Performing such a dark and cool concept might have been a bit too intense on the young girls, but it was impressive to see the contestant set the stage on fire. Summon left a deep impression on the judges, especially Sejong, who said it was really hard to not pay attention to her. Another contestant that left judges mind blown was Bang Yoonha, who had the killer whisper part in the performance. However, at the end of the performance, Yoon Hyun got eliminated due to her weak movements and not being able to deliver a powerful performance. Even though the producers and judges like Yoon Hyun, yet she left the show with tons of memories and tears in her eyes. Next off, it was the time to gather the votes and rank the contestants respectively. The rankings started off strong with Gu Gyo Ron and Jin Hyunju standing against each other, where Hyunju moved up all the way to the I rank and Gyo Ron got eliminated. Next, it was the turn of the two sisters, Bae Harem and Bae Yerim. Unfortunately, one of the sisters had to leave and sacrifice her future for the other. As a result, Bae Yerim got eliminated, but Bae Harem made it to the I rank. She didn't forget to mention that she will keep supporting Bay Harem. Universe Tickets fans didn't miss the chance to comment on the situation, saying that putting them on the same stage would be a topic of therapy in their adult years. Moving on, it was Oh Yuna's turn against Lee Sun Woo, where Yuna got promoted to the ER rank and Sun Woo got promoted to I rank. Yuna had worked quite hard and she definitely deserved to get promoted. All of a sudden, the producers introduced a whole new system called Hidden Ticketing slash Producer Ticketing into the show. These tickets will be done on the votes of papermaker, vendors, and trainers, which could give another chance to girls for their survival in Universe Ticket. Then the two finalists for Hidden Ticketing were announced, who were Bang Yoonha and Kim Sumin. It was surprising to learn that both of them got promoted to the I rank. Next to Yoonha and Soomin were Gabi and Seun, who also got promoted to the I rank on the Prism Pyramid. Continuing the measurements of regular votings, John Jin Young and Jayla got put against each other where Jayla got eliminated and Jin Young got promoted to I rank. Up next, they revealed Narumi and Kotoko's voting results where Kotoko got promoted to rank R and Narumi got promoted to it. It seemed that both of them were in an intense competition since neither of the girls got eliminated. The real shock hit the contestants when Kim Soo Jin and Lee Haran both got eliminated at S rank. It meant no more games for them, and now they will leave the universe ticket. Next, Nizi and Yuri got their vote calculated where Yuri got promoted to I and Nizi got eliminated. Next off, they revealed Gaeli and Nana's votes, and it turned out that they both had been promoted to the R rank. Just like that, 
Votes between Siowan and Elysia happened where to everyone's surprise. Elysia got promoted to P rank, whereas Siowan got promoted to R. Now, the questions of what do these rankings mean? And where are things going to lead to in Universe Ticket? How far have the members come and how much more do they have to keep going? Who will be the final lineup members of Universe Ticket? And which is the first contestant to earn their prison ticket? Well, don't worry, we have the answers to each of the mentioned questions. Episode 9 left us mind blown with the celebrations of Elysia being the first contestant to secure her prison ticket. Based on the rules of the show, the members that earned the P rank will secure their debut. She was super happy being with Siowan, but leveling up just gives you a higher sense of self. Siowan was really happy for Elysia too. They even made a joke on stage where Elysia asked, Do you want to come with me in a very sassy way? Which made Siowan even more determined to debut with her friend. It was a really wholesome moment between two best friends, which made fans root for both of them to debut. After watching episode 9, many fans and viewers are satisfied with the way things are turning out for each contestant and how they are on a fair treatment because the initial battles felt really unfair to fans. Some think that this time vendors did their best to try and gave all the contestant a fair shot. Of course they made sure to not waste any kind of talent and did a thorough voting. There are many dissatisfied fans as well, who think that the voting system is a bit unfair for the Japanese contestants. It implies that, in the universe ticket competition, contestants from Japan, excluding Kotoko, are not receiving substantial votes or backing from the audience. This could be due to various factors such as competition intensity, popularity, or fan engagement. Even though there are so many talented Japanese contestants, it's tough for them to debut in a voting system that prefers Korean contestants more. With these problems occurring side to side, it's finally the time to discuss the final lineup members of Universe Ticket. According to various predictions, Elisha, Gaeli, Siowon, Nana, Yona, Kotoko, Bang Yunha, and Kim Sumin have the most potential to debut with the prison ticket as they have now reached the R level and only one more step left to secure their position. But is not set in stone as some of the other contestants who are in the lower rank could make it as well. Some possible contestants that fans are rooting for include Sunwoo, Hyunju, and Narumi. Considering this is Sunwoo's fourth survival show, netizens just want to see her catching a break at this point. As the universe ticket heads towards its finale, the contestants have given their all pouring in their efforts and emotions. These contestants have worked hard, practiced tirelessly, and delivered emotional performances. The next episode is the big reveal, where dreams will either come true or the contestants will face failure after months of hard work. So what are your thoughts on the potential final lineup? Drop your comments down below.